chatbots are the buzzwords today i don't think they are fad i believe they are the future aws has been de dealing with the chatbots for a long time now the thing is that when communicating and collaborating on it operation tasks through the chat channels then it is called as chat ops these days you can use aws chatbot service with aws chime slack and teams also uh, you can integrate it with other third party tools with some coding but chime slack and teams they come natively in using aws chatbot for microsoft teams or other chat platforms you receive notification from aws directly in your chat channel and you can take actions on your infrastructure by typing command without having to switch to another tool typically you will want to receive alerts about your system health your budgets any new security threat or risk or the status of your cicd pipelines so you can integrate any aws service with these chatbots sending a message to the chat channel is as simple as sending a message on an AWS SNS topic. Now let's have a look at how to configure AWS chatbot with Teams. Before I delve into that, a disclaimer: these screenshots are from AWS, but and these are here only for the demo purposes. First and foremost, you need to configure your Microsoft Teams, and for that, first you need to configure your Team channel. As a Team administrator. Add the AWS chatbot application to your MS Teams and take note of the URL of the channel you want to use for receiving notification and other AWS operations. Once that's done, you have completed the MS Teams side of configuration. Now it is time to configure the AWS chatbot service. In the AWS console, go to AWS chatbot service and select client as Microsoft Teams on the right hand side and then Click on this orange button configure client. You will be redirected to Teams for authentication. Once you verify your Teams credentials, you are good, and at this stage, your Microsoft Teams is registered with your AWS chatbot and you are ready to add the Microsoft Teams channels here. So, once that's done, click on configure client and then configure new channel. In the channel, specify the name of your channel and then paste the channel URL which you obtained from your MS Teams. Once that's done, it's time to um, configure your AWS role. Now, when it comes to the role, make sure that you are only specifying the read only permissions. For example, if you want to configure AWS. EC2 or S3 from your MS Teams, only create a role with read only operations to S3 or EC2. Don't give any broad permissions. So on the left hand side, I'm specifying a role which I which I'll be using only for read only purposes for the channel role. And then on the right hand side, you need to specify the SNS topic, and this will be the last step on the chatbot service. In this last step, where you configure SNS topic, you need to just give the name of SNS topic that will be the source for notification sent to your Teams channels. Your applications or AWS services such as CloudWatch alarms can send message to this topic. And AWS chatbot will relay all message to the configured Teams channel. Thanks to the integration between AWS Event Bridge and SNS, any application able to send a message to Event Bridge is able to send a message to teams once you do above the integration is complete and you're all good to control your aws services operations from teams and you can even write your aws cli command in your teams channels integrated with chatbots and they will output you the result for example if you run the aws cli command aws uh, ec2 describe instance then it will give you the json detail of that instance i hope this was useful and interesting i would suggest you to try it in your own environment and let me know your feedback thank you very much